Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ this day is going to be a blessed day for you and for me as well because we start this day with the word of god amen Jesus our redeemer is not an ordinary person he is above everything because st paul's letter to the colossians chapter 1 verses 15 and 16 says as follows Christ is the visible likeness of the invisible god he is the firstborn son superior to all created things for through him god created everything in heaven and on earth the seen and the unseen things including spiritual powers lords rulers and authorities god created the whole universe through him and for him so we are sent to this world to live for him and to fulfill his desires let us grow in him and live for him for him only you are listening to the voice of the gospel presented by wisdom ministries July 27th Friday A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Matthew chapter 13 verses 18 to 23 Here then the parable of the sower when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart This is what was sown on the path as for what was sown on the rocky ground This is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root but endures only for a while. And when trouble and persecution arises on the account of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, as for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the care of the world and the lure of wealth choke the word. and it yields nothing but as for what was sown on the good soil this is the one who hears the word and understand it who indeed bears fruit and yields in one case a hundredfold in another 60 and in another 30 the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends in jesus christ The gospel reading of today deals with the parable of sower. Jesus is a sower who proclaims the kingdom of God. Through the parable of the sower, Jesus makes us understand that the key virtue of disciples if is to understand the word of God. The word is not only to be heard but to be understood in its right sense. Human cooperation is necessary for this. otherwise when we are faced with persecution and difficulties the initial enthusiasm for the word cools down like the seeds which are fallen on the rocky ground jesus also speaks about the good soil the one who hears the word and understand it namely the disciples yielding a good harvest according to one's capacity a hundredfold 60 and 30 30 god's word can only take root and bear abundant fruit in one's heart if one is open to and ready to understand what god has to say this will happen when we allow god to enter into our lives God is constantly taking the initiative to plant the word in our hearts. We realize this from the first reading of today where Yahweh invites his disloyal children, Israel people, to change their mind and to come back to him. 
God does not stop there, but promises to give them shepherds after God's own heart, who will guide them and with knowledge and understanding. We, in our turn, need to examine the manner in which we respond to God's call. Let these words be our prayer. Lord, bless me with the understanding of the word you have planted in my heart that I may not drift away from believing and obeying you. May I be fruitful in your service to proclaim and share the good news of the gospel. Amen.